This is question number nine. In the first part for five marks, we're asked to sketch the curve y is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 6, given the coordinates of all points of intersection with the axis. This is a quadratic graph, and we need to consider when x is equal to 0. That will give us the point of intersection with the y-axis, and then when y is equal to 0, which will give us the points of intersection with the x-axis. The first thing I'm going to do is now write this and factor it as the product of two linear factors. So we're going to have y is equal to 2x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 2. So let's just check this works. 2x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 6. So let's consider now when x is equal to 0 we will have y will be equal to 3 multiplied by minus 2. That gives us that y is equal to minus 6. So we can write down the coordinates of a point of intersection with the y-axis will be 0 minus 6. Let's now consider when y is equal to 0. So we can say when y is equal to 0, we will have 0 is equal to 2x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 2. Solving for x, we can see that x would be equal to minus 3 over 2, or we'd have x is equal to 2. So if we consider this point right here, would give us minus 3 over 2, comma 0, and then this point right here would give us 2, comma 0. So we need to sketch this up. This will be a positive parabola, and we can go ahead and draw this. We're going to have now the point of intersection just here. That's going to be now minus 3 over 2, comma 0. We'll have 1 just here at 2, comma 0. And then we'll have a point of intersection with the y-axis of 0, comma, minus 6. So the parabola will open upwards. It will come down. We will have now a minimum point just here. We'll turn around and then it will be symmetric. So we can say y is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 6. So this now gives us a sketch of the curve. We've got the points of intersection by factoring the quadratic, setting y to 0, and then setting x to 0 for the y-intercept. In the second part of the question for three marks, we're asked to find the set of values of x for which 2x squared minus x minus 6 is a decreasing function. We've got a couple of choices here. We could complete the square, or we could say now that the derivative dy by dx, which is the gradient function, will be less than 0. So if we differentiate this, dy by dx will be equal to, and taking our original expression, differentiating will give us 4x minus 1. So all I'm going to say then is that 4x minus 1 will be less than 0. Solving the linear inequality, we can say that x will be less than positive 1 quarter. So they are the values of x for which this is a decreasing function. If you like, as stated, you could complete the square and find the minimum point. The minimum point here will have an x coordinate of 1 quarter. And we can see that all values less than one quarter will give us now a decreasing function. That is, the gradient of the tangent would be negative. So something along those lines to this symmetric point, And then afterwards, we would have an increasing function. It's stationary at this point. Clearly, we wouldn't draw this on our parabola in the exam. But this just gives us some idea. In the third part, for 4 marks, we're told the line y is equal to 4 meets the curve y is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 6 at the points p and q. And we're asked to calculate the distance p, q. OK, let's just go ahead and take these off. Essentially, what we're doing here is solving a simultaneous equation. So if I put this line on, this is the line y is equal to 4. And we want to find these two points of intersection. So what we're going to have here is a point there and a point there. Again, we wouldn't draw this on. I'm just showing what I'm doing. So that's the line y is equal to 4. So what we can state then, if y is equal to 4, 
and y is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 6, then 4 will be equal to 2x squared minus x minus 6. I'm simply now solving at simultaneous equations. So subtracting the 4 from both sides, we're going to have 0 is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 10. Again, it looks like I can factor this. So we have the left-hand side set to 0. We're going to have 2x. Then we'll have minus 5 multiplied by x plus 2. Let's just check that gives us the expression we want. 2x squared plus 4x minus 5x minus 10. So from here, we can see that x would be equal now to 5 over 2. Or we'd have x is equal to minus 2. We know that the y coordinate in each case is going to be 4. So all I'm going to do is a quick sketch up. What we're going to have now, I'm going back to our graph. We're going to have the point just here. This is going to be minus 2. So minus 2 is here. And this point is going to be 5 over 2. So all we're looking for is the distance apart. And I can state now that 5 over 2 minus minus 2 will give us now 9 over 2. So we can say that the distance of these points now, PQ, we can just write this down, therefore PQ, and just jot in our final answer, therefore PQ will be equal to 9 over 2. So that gives me my final answer, or if you like, 4.5.